Hey guys, how you guys doing? As you can see, I'm in my favorite room of the house. Uh, it's the garage where I got all my drums. We had a pretty big show. I just got through playing, so I'm breaking it all down, and I'm just here working on some of my stuff. Actually, uh, going over some some new riffs and some um, new songs that, for the shows uh, next week. Actually, I wanted to take uh, a little time to talk to you guys a little about this um, the New York trip that I just got back from for Hot Rocks and the the Sex Museum. And, you know, they put us in there, and they, they featured me, and, and it was really humbling because I've done so many shows before, whether it be, you know, riding stunts with the motorcycles with Team No Limit, you know, Jason Britton, you know, doing the, um, you know, the movies I've been in, and then, you know, coaching tennis, I've got a chance to do that, and even, you know, doing rock and roll concerts and shows, um, you know, you get to see a, a lot of different people, and you get a lot of different reactions, you know, of, of what you did or what people think that you, you know, everybody plays, we don't care what sport you play or, or music, everybody plays because you want, you know, you want somebody to say, man, that kid can play, that guy's good, you know, that's why we practice, that's the way I practice, the way I do. Um, and a lot of times you want to hear that, you want to hear people say that, you know, hey, man, just, you know, it's good for your ego and all that kind of crap, but <clears throat> this, this trip was something that kind of stood out. You know, because usually when I go to anything uh, it has to do with adult stuff or porn or something like that, a lot of times the guys would come up and they're like, oh man, that, that video, you sent you that girl, and me and my wife saw it, and we got all freaky, and you know, that's great to hear that it helps somebody's sex, sex life, but since I've been taking, you know, hot rocks, you know, and doing, um, you know, because it's healthy for your body, it makes your, you know, your, your sex drive incredible, it makes you lose weight, it gives you energy, but ever since I started doing that and, and doing seminars, and seeing other people that are taking it, and other people that now they follow me on my Twitter or, or their Facebook, and they actually really, I guess other people are taking the time to <clears throat> pay attention to what I'm doing other than just movies. And there was this one story uh, in particular, a girl, she came up to me at the show in the sex museum, and she uh, was t saying, you know, she, she was, I think she was a, a cop at one time, and she was breaking up a big fight, and it was a big melee and whatnot, and she was in the, in the bottom of it, and she tore up her knee really bad, she ended up losing her knee, you know, with the surgeries, and and I was just like, wow, it was a horrible serum, I was like, I was thinking to myself, I wonder where she's going with this, but you know, like, some kind of a, you know, inspiration of, that she had, and she said, she said, I want you to know that you inspired me to want to walk again, or to, to be able to walk in, I'm, and I said, excuse, excuse me, I said, say that, into, say that into my good ear, what, what did you just say? She and she said it with almost with a tear in her eyes. I mean, she was really serious, and I mean, I couldn't believe that somebody told me that you know she watched my Facebook post because she sees when I was playing tournaments, and and that, yeah, everybody knows I'll put my heart on my sleeve. I'll, if I'm having a great day, I'll tell you. If I'm having a shit day, or if I'm not pulling off something, I'll talk about that also. But she's like, you always seem to bounce back from whatever you're doing, or if you have some heartaches and some setbacks, and it inspired me, and I saw what you did with your body. You know, because I had to gain the weight to do Batman, and then I had to get shredded to do Iron Man. You know, I started taking hot rocks and stuff and started doing that, and it started helping me. And so I, I threw it out there. Now she takes it, and it did the amazing things for her body and got her expired. And she was in the gym. She, she kept, you know, I would post, hey, I'm hitting the gym today, then going straight to the volleyball course. And, and I take all that stuff for granted, you know, because I can... I can walk, I can do all these things, and here I am, you know, sometimes I complain, oh, I didn't win today, or I got put out in the first round, or my band, I didn't sound that good, or, you know, I didn't hit that double bass beat, or, you know, the 16th note, and, or I can't do it fast enough, things that I complain about, or even with my motorcycles, doing stunts like, oh, I didn't, you know, I didn't pull off that circle wheelie the way I wanted to, um, and here she is, you know, this, you know, I take those things for granted, and, she, you know, she lost her knee, and, you know, it was just, it was just a great story, and I wanted to share that with you guys, because, when I do those events, man, I, I, you know, a lot of times people come up, and they, you know, sexual stuff. Oh, dude, you know, you banging that chick. And this was this was one that was pretty, uh, it's pretty interesting. And I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, and it was a great story. And I had a great time up in New York. Everybody seems to be loving it. Everybody, <laughs> we put. I'm getting all these emails. Oh my God, I, I've been taking it for three days now, and I, I'm so horny. I got so much energy. And I, I, I tell people, I told you, I told you, it's not a joke. Hotrocks.com. Go there. I'm telling you. H O T R A W K S. Be a rock star. Another thing I want to share you guys because I always talk to like you know, a little dating 101. Some tips. I saw some things in New York that are a little suspect. It goes like this. If you're my age or older, I'm 40. If you're 40, 50, 60, do not, you do not wear Ed Hardy shirt. No affliction. You can think about it. But don't do it. 
he looked like a fucking idiot. And the big gold chain, the medallion, and all that stuff. I, I'm, I'm, no, don't do it. No gold chains, no medallion. No, if you're wearing earrings, I fucking play in a rock band. And I can actually, you know, I have those excuses to dress up and be a rock, and I don't even do it. You know, when you're young, the young kid, let them do it. If you're 50, 60, and you're still rocking Ed Hardy shirts, tucked in! And you got a fucking blowout look. If you're Paulie D, or uh, who are those other idiots? Fucking uh, Jim Tan Laundry, whatever the fuck those guys, uh, what's the guy's name? Situation. Uh, or abortion, whatever his fucking name is. If you're one of those guys and you want to date Snooky, rock the fucking the, the blowout. They're not laughing with you; they're laughing at you. I promise. That's just 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 my opinion. And the only tip that you can pick up from those guys that actually works, which I hate. Guys, tell me hey, what's your secret? Where you get girls and you hey, blah blah blah? You can get what you want. No, I cannot get what I want. I can't get anything. No, I, no, I cannot. Gotten a couple, maybe more than others, but less than some. But dig it, he or she, now listen to me people, as this truck rides by, before I was rudely interrupted by the Rodney's Relocation Service, whoever the fuck that was. Okay, now dig it, now listen. He or she in a relationship who cares the least wins. It's, you act like you care, if you give too much, you go, oh my god, I love you, and you're the, and you're, it's like they lose the interest, you, you, so and unfortunately, girls will say, oh, what a nice guy, no, they don't, I'm a nice guy, and I don't, I don't give shit, um, because I have, I have not mastered that off, I'm very, I'm one of those do as I say, not as I do guys, because if, if I see somebody, I like, I tend to, you know, I don't, I don't act like I don't care, I act like I care, which is fucking an idiot, which is why I'm, you know, been single forever, um, but I'm telling you, that's a good tip to worry, to worry about. You leave that little mystery, you leave a little action, but you know, unfortunately, you gotta, you gotta act like you don't care. I'm not very good at it. Um, yeah, it's pretty nauseating. So it's just, I know the game, but I just choose not to play. But all you single guys out there, and you want to rock, and you want to make it happen, I wouldn't suggest you do that when you when you do get my age and you find a woman that wants to settle down a little bit. I'm talking for you young younger folks out there, rock. It doesn't matter what you look like. Trust me, if you got the green, you're good. You don't really have to have a game. You just, Show, show your car. But for us that don't have that luxury, we have to have a little bit of personality. I'm lucky I got blue eyes, so chicks kind of dig it. But just remember, Devone knows all. I'm here to help you. Hope you guys are having fun. HotRocks.com. I am Dale Devone. Did I just say Dale Devone? Or is it Dale Devone? I forget my own name. You guys take it easy.